All right, welcome to the video on how to uh, write a script for a video. Um, Cameron Randall with Bluefire Studios, and I just wanted to I wanted to jump right in, and I've been meaning to do this for a long time, and uh, I keep waiting for it to be perfect, and um, because it's me on camera, it's never gonna be perfect. So I just want to uh, jump in and to kind of get a get something useful here that people can use right away. So. Uh, in thinking about this project, I, I was I was wondering, or I, it stood out to me that one of the the most questions that people ever ask me is, how do I write a script, or how do I start, uh, how do I get going writing a script? Because the reason why is the script is the most important thing you can have when looking at a video project, uh, well, a number of projects, specifically a video project, but a script is going to be the most important thing that dictates. Uh, the project about it's going to be a roadmap that helps you make decisions along the way and make sure that everyone's going to be on the same page. Decision makers that have to give input, everyone's understanding what they're going to get out of a project. Uh, it'll be uh, priceless in figuring out a budget for uh, your project. And uh, lastly, it makes sure the message is very, very clear uh, so that all that effort and time goes into a project. You don't come out with something that you didn't, didn't communicate the message you hoped it was. Um, so uh, here we go. Let me make sure I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, we're going to talk about three steps on how to uh, get yourself going to be able to write at least a basic script so you can get some projects going if you feel like. Um, it's something that uh, script writing is a service that Bluefire does provide, but more often than not, it's something that uh, clients uh, have the total ability to at least get most of the way or uh, do in-house so that it saves some time and some budget uh, that can be used towards other things. But um, uh, it's something that's pretty straightforward once you understand the structure and, and how it can be kind of uh, uh, put together. Um, let's see. Uh, the most common script format, when I, when I say script, maybe you're thinking of like a, a movie script, people talking, uh, dialogue, uh, going back and forth. Um, things like that. Well, that is a script that we're talking, but we're going to be talking about a more uh, specific, ver uh, I keep saying, uh, I apologize, a more specific format of script called a two-column format. Um, basically, it, just, as it is what it sounds like. One column talks about the, what's going to be heard, and the other column is going to be talking about the visuals. Well, this is a, a script format that broadcast people use uh, quite a bit. Uh, it's very straightforward. The news does this all the time. But let me jump into the computer here and show you a couple examples of what I'm talking about. Um, one of the things you can do when starting uh, is just start with a table and have two columns. If you want to, you can jump into Google Docs and they'll have templates that show that are kind of already pre set up so you can just start typing right away. Uh, here it is. You can see the one side, this column's for video, the visuals, this column's for the the audio. Now I like to have those reversed because I start. I always start with the script or the voiceover at least, or what could be a voiceover, and add my visuals on top of that. Um, so this is a, te uh, a template that's ready to go. I'm going to show you one of my scripts that I've put together for a client. Um, here, I, like I said, I haven't switched. Here's my uh, my audio. So this could either be a voiceover or someone on screen talking. Um, at least. And some of it actually doesn't have to be said at all if I get into here and decide that I'm, I don't need what the script says, but at least I can still see the flow or what's going to be going on uh, without actually hearing anything. I can, I can still apply visuals to it. Uh, but, but here is, this one's a particular example as a voiceover. So someone's going to be uh, reading this script out. And over on the other side here uh, is the visuals where we start uh, type, sh talking about what is going to be seen at the same time you, that you hear these, this audio over here. And uh, it's broken up into cells. Um, I've broken it up into uh, sentences where I feel like an idea uh, can be shown uh, with the visual. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Here is another version of that same script, except I've added a third column. I'm getting kind of crazy, I know. But here's a third column, which uh, is a, more or less a storyboard. Uh, for my animators who uh, were actually going to be working on the piece, so I have here I have the vi the what's going to be talk the audio, and then I have the visuals describing the visuals. This could be like the like over here. It's an animation. This could be an animation or or footage I haven't shot or footage that I have shot that I know I have uh, describing what's going to be going over top of what's being heard over here. So here I've just kind of drawn these little simple drawings of uh, here's this is a building and logos flying around it. It's a pile of logos. 
So you can kind of see a good example of, it's starting to just kind of outline what, what the project's gonna be looking like. Now, uh, before we get too crazy and ahead of ourselves, let me jump back to talk a little more about script writing here. Where's my, there it is. Um, uh, we're gonna talk about step one. And the step one uh, is understanding and having a clear message. There's nothing that can destroy a good video project without having a, not, not understanding what your message wants to be. Uh, what's the point of your video? The, you need to make sure you have a clear point. Uh, is it a call to action for someone to buy something at the end? Is it uh, so that so, uh, an end user will understand a new feature? Uh, is it for image or branding, strictly just a, uh, a piece that talks about your company and, and its, its philosophy, things of that nature? Just make sure you have a clear understanding so you're not cramming a whole bunch of messages in at once and so people don't understand, was that about, am I supposed to Am I supposed to try and buy something, or am I supposed to just feel good about you guys? You want to make sure you have a good goal in mind of the video and what, and what it's supposed to do. Um, the, the second part of step one is understanding and having a clear message is understand, know your audience. Your audience is going to dictate 100% of what the message is going to be in this video. Uh, are you speaking to technical people? If you are, you're probably going to be communicating a lot more uh, uh, detail, uh, information, facts than you would say an end user who just wants to understand the benefits uh, of what they're buying or what they may could be potentially using instead of listing all of the bullet points or all of the facts that you could that they're going to be experiencing. You want to make sure they understand that they're going to be spending more time with their family or you know easier use of this or whatever it is. You got to make sure you understand who you're talking to. And uh, lastly, is the length of your piece. Both those elements are going to decide how long this piece is. Again, if you're talking to technical people. People, they may want more detail. They might want to know, okay, the nuts and bolts of the process. Whereas if it's just uh, somebody who wants to know if this is going to be a good thing for them, they just want to understand that you know uh, that uh, you're communicating to them what they feel like is the important stuff. So it could be a shorter piece. Um, so step one was to understand and have a clear message. Uh, just make sure that everyone's on that same page. Step two is always start general and move towards specific. This will help with the writing process. Um, people always sit down and they think about writing a script. They start sitting and they start writing out word for word what's going to be said right off the bat. Now that's, if you're, if you're super smart and talented, you know what, go ahead and start doing that. But for me and the rest of the world, usually the best thing to do is start really general. Start listing just ideas and bullet points. Bold title headings, and bullet points about what the, the features are or what the outline of your video is going to be. This will help you create a backbone that you can then fill in stuff after the fact. Um, after you kind of have a nice outline of your bullet points and stuff, then you can start editing a little bit. You mix and match and you decide, okay, this idea should probably go before this idea and that idea needs to go before that idea. It helps kind of smooth things out. That way you can see, before you get too detailed, how the flow, is your pe uh, the flow of your piece is going to look and you can see what core uh, concepts are, are going to be uh, communicated in your, in your script. Um, after your core concepts are there, you're going to want to start uh, expounding or expanding on each bullet point. So you can go through and say, okay, uh, we're talking about uh, the new features of our product, feature A, B, and C. Now start talking about A, B, and C and, and explain it as you would sitting next to someone at lunch. That's kind of what I like to use as a, a good example of how to write out, you know, instead of just regurgitating the technical data that may be on the website, go through and add in uh, layman's terms, what might be uh, a good example, a good way to describe the features and communicate. And, and, okay, I know I'll back up a little bit here. Again, this know your audience. Make sure that what you're saying, it may need to be more technical, it may not. More often than not, a lot of the stuff that we get on our website can be a little more technical. You feel like we need to communicate all of the information. Well, the video is a little more pinpointed than that. You're going to watch a video and you want to find uh, a good kind of slice or a good taste of information so that it, it whets my appetite and I want to go find more information out um, or, or buy or something like that. So again, know your audience. Um, and then once you have your backbone, like I said, you're right, like you were talking to a friend explaining something out in your own words. Uh, that's our step two. So always start general and move specific. That can be overwhelming. Otherwise, people start, they want to start off real detailed right away and it gets, it gets a little bit confusing about where to go from there. Um, now that you have some nice paragraphs that you can uh, start looking at, step three is to convert that to a two-column format because uh, this, is a, this is a step 
that's important because a lot of times people can or they will write a script or a an outline or or some paragraphs of describing what they would want to talk about. But the hard part then is how do I you know what how do I convert that to a video? How do I know what's going to be shown? Well, that's what we talked about the two column format. Break it up into ideas. Break it up into sections. Break it up into cells that you feel like would best communicate that particular. Uh, paragraph or sentence, and then you write over on the video side what's going to be shown or said uh, or, or illustrated the visuals at the same time. Um, sorry, we had a, a little bit of a camera glitch there. Uh, <laughs> ran out of batteries, that was my intention. So basically, the two, the two column format, you can go uh, as much detail or as little detail as your project needs. There's two different kind of styles of that. There's your documentary style, which is a little more just a basic outline or plan of what you would like the video to be said uh, or to be saying or, or, or shown. Um, and a good example of that is uh, you're talking to a client or somebody like that and you don't have word for word written out what you want them to say. You ask them questions and they then reply in their own words uh, uh, what they feel like is the best answer at the time. Kind of like I'm doing now. I'm just, I'm off the cuff. I have a basic idea, outline of what I want to communicate, but I'm letting my uh, just um, whatever comes out of my mouth is what's going to happen. So I'll probably do a little bit of editing here uh, if there's anything I feel like is just too slow or fast or uh, doesn't make any sense. Um, so uh, the documentary style, like I said, you'll have uh, the, the, the audio might say, uh, uh, column might say something to the effect of talks about how they like the product and the visual side will have suggestions of what could be seen like them using the product or being happy after the fact showing what the, the benefit of the product is. Uh, on the flip side of that coin is if you're very detailed and it's a directed piece, meaning you have a director who knows exactly what needs to be said and shown at exactly the same time, the, the storyboard is going to be very, very detailed in, um, sorry not storyboard, the script, very, very detailed in uh, describing what is uh, going to be seen and, and to be said word for word, things of that nature. See I'm, let me see if I'm forgetting anything. And I've already gone over it once. All right, so we have our two columns. We have our, our, our uh, audio, what's going to be heard, and our visuals, what's going to be seen. Um, boom, you're done. Are you ready to shoot? Well, not quite. Uh, some things still need to happen, like a breakdown of your scripts. So you know what's, what you're going to need for it. You know, props, talent, locations, equipment, special things like that. Uh, this will dictate your budget how much you're going to spend on this thing, and a schedule, and then you can go out and shoot it. So all of these things, the script dictates everything, like at the beginning, it is, is in charge of the whole project. Once you have that down and approved and sit, written off or signed off by everyone who needs to, and then you're ready to move forward. So it's, it's something that's very nice to have to fall back on when there's questions to, to look at when you need to move forward, things of that nature. So um, once again, I'll just run over those, those steps one more time. Understand, have a clear message. Make sure you're, you're, you're saying what you need to to your desired audience. Always start general and move uh, to specifics. So, so just take it a step at a time. Don't be overwhelmed by the process. You know, start with bullet points and move to more discussion. And then converting your outline to a two column or a three column if uh, you want to draw a storyboard uh, format so that it turns from just kind of a script into something that can be more visual, can be seen as more underst and understood as more visual. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, I apologize for my ramblings, but um, I'm, I'm excited to see what projects you guys have come through the pipe and uh, to see what projects or things you can write scripts for. So happy writing and have a wonderful day.